welcome back everyone to Road to Glory Johnny Ace and if you caught the conclusion of last week's thrilling episode no one was more disappointed than Johnny H himself. That thrilling overtime loss to Washington. That was crazy. 55 to 57. Johnny H's first taste of overtime didn't go the way he wanted to. But at the same time, this is the second ranked team he's lost to this season. First, it was number three, Texas. Now, number 19, Washington. He has to prove that he can win big games against ranked teams, not only to himself, not only to his school, but to the fans, to the people who buy the tickets to go to the games. He knows he's just a freshman. But at the same time, he has to come up clutch in these situations. And he's going to have a week to think about this because as you can see, it is now week seven. The Wolverines are four and two and they are on a bye week this week. So we're going to simulate practice. <clears throat> we're going to check out the top stories of the week. Number two, Ohio State barely survives Iowa and avoids an upset. Now this week, number three, Notre Dame will take on Stanford, one of their rivals. And another rivalry game, number five, Tennessee takes on the unranked Florida Gators. And lastly, could this be the game of the year? It's definitely the game of the week. Number two, Ohio State travels to Oregon to play number four, Oregon. This could be one for the ages right there. So now we're gonna go to the weekly agenda and I'm already prepared for my exam so I can put stuff into other things now. So let's go ahead and put two to training. And now let's get the health back up. And we're going to put the rest into leadership. Just to build this up some more. It's still medium. Might be about 60% of the way to high. So I'm getting there. Now we're going to advance and go on to week eight because there's nothing else to do. And there's Karen Jones, my academic advisor. We, well, we got your exam results back, all A's. Check out your GPA to see how your results impacted it. All right, looking for that 4.0 GPA. And fan favorite is activated, cool. And it looks like we have a Big Ten matchup against Illinois. As you can see, we are two and one in conference, so we kind of need to win this match to keep pace with the bigger name schools in the conference. What we're gonna do is we're going to simulate practice. Get that out the way. The top stories is Donovan Edwards is number one in the Heisman race. Number two is LSU's Garrett Nussmeyer. Number three is Washington's Will Rogers. Number four, Arizona is Tatario McMillan. And number five is Ohio State, Emeka Ebuka. And that is the Heisman race as of week eight. Now, the UFC Trojans pulled off an upset over conference opponent Penn State. Penn State gets upset again. Are you kidding me? 34 to 24, the defensive player of the game was John Humphrey with zero interceptions, but he had, did have five tackles. And this week we have a ranked matchup in the Big 12 as UCF travels to Ohio, I mean Iowa State. UCF is ranked 16 and Iowa State is ranked 12. That should be a great matchup to watch. And what could be the game of the week, 
possibly the best game of 2024. It seems like we're getting a lot of those. Number two, Georgia travels to Texas to face number nine, Texas. I don't know who I need to win this match. Either one, I'll take a loss as long as it doesn't end in a tie, which probably won't. So now I'm gonna do the weekly agenda quick. And it looks like it is exam week. All right, let's put some of this. Let's get, we're gonna put as much of this in here as we can. We're gonna try to get it prepared. And we did, we got it prepared. So that will help the GPA out big time. Let's just put it all in the school. Make sure he's got a 3.6 GPA. Let's get that up higher. So before we play our game, let's take a look at the top 25 as of week 8, 2024. And Ohio State moves up to number one after beating number eight, Oregon. Georgia moved down to number two. Notre Dame stayed the same at number three. Tennessee moved up to number four. Miami moves up to number five. LSU moves up to six. Kansas State moves up to number seven. Oregon drops four spots from number four to number eight after losing to Ohio State. Texas moves up one spot to nine. Utah moves up to 10. Michigan moves up to 11. So we are the 11th seed hovering around the top 10. So we definitely need to win to keep this going. Iowa State moves up three spots after beating West Virginia to number 12. Clemson moves up one spot to number 13. Washington moves up to number 14. Texas Tech moves up to 15. UCF moves up to 16. Tulane moves up three spots to 17. NC State moves up to 18. Maryland moves up to 19. Penn State drops 13 spots after getting upset by UFC from number seven all the way to number 20. That's quite the fall for Penn State. Texas A&M moves up to 21. Oklahoma State moves up to 22. Missouri moves up to 23. And Kentucky is now 24 after not being ranked last week. And Rutgers is now 25 after not being ranked last week. Those are the top 25 rankings. Well, let's get this game underway. A big 10 matchup between Michigan traveling on the road to face Illinois. Oh, I advanced it by mistake. Oh my goodness. Well, that didn't go as planned. I can, oh, that was my fault. I kind of wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. Well, a local TV reporter, Donna Harper has some questions for me. Your passing performance today was one of the most memorable of the season thus far. What allowed you to do it? I'm gonna credit my teammates because I'm a freshman, so I have to stay humble. I don't really pay much attention to individual stats, to be honest, but I will say that th this entire team deserves credit for this win. And we, as an offensive unit, played so well I'm very proud of the guys. And my leadership increased, and it looks like we won. Audrey, my classmate now, sent me a message. Hey, I know the players have curfew, but my friends are throwing a party this week. It starts at midnight. You should come. I'm going to decline this just to stay on the team and the coach's good graces. I would love to, but I just got here. I would hate to make a bad impression on the coaches this early. And that's basically what I just said. All right, well, we did win that game. Let's take a look and see 
what the actual score was and the stats. I can't believe I did that, but you know what? It happened. So what? We won 55 to 28. And it, it just looked like a straight up whomping. 35 to 14 at halftime. Then they came back a little bit in the fourth, but it was much too late. My stats were 16 out of 22, 295 yards, six touchdowns. Wow, six touchdowns and a quarterback rating of 275.3. Rushing the ball, Donovan Edwards, 18 carries, 199 yards and a touchdown. And did he catch the ball at all? No, he had no catches, but Samaja Morgan, four catches, 148 yards, and a touchdown, was the leading receiver. Well, I'm not going to make that mistake again. However, I am going to simulate practice. And the top stories for week nine are, well, I'll do the top 25 after this week. So we're going to skip that. Number nine, Texas upsets Georgia 34 to 31 in overtime. Now I don't feel so bad about losing to Texas because they just upset the number two team in the nation. The offensive player of the game was quarterback Carson Beck from Georgia. 355 passing yards and three touchdowns, no interceptions. And another upset. Number 25, Louisville, upsets number 14, Miami, 34 to 13. Wow, we got the upset special going on last week. And the Crimson Tide pull up an upset over conference opponent, Tennessee, another upset, 20 to 10. Alabama wins the defensive player of the game is Devonta Smith. He had one interception and five tackles. Let's do the weekly agenda quick and get some games going here. I have six weeks. I have an exam in six weeks. Let's go ahead and get prepared here. I have two energy points left. Let's put one into health and one in. I am fully prepared, so we'll put the other into leadership and now it is high at win boosted me up that's what I needed okay so week nine Michigan is rated number eight and we will be hosting Michigan State good rivalry game here the Spartans versus the Wolverines let's go Right, here we go. Here come the Wolverines getting ready to come out to take on rival Michigan State. Here we go. Michigan Stadium is booming. Big time rivalry game right here. We gotta win this. We are in the top 10 rank. We gotta keep it going. On the set. Giving me slants right away. There you go, Morgan. There we go. 20 yard pass right off the gate. All right, hand off to Edwards. Who cuts left for five yards. Another handoff to Edwards. And he runs to the right. First down for 10 yards. Klein's open. Get that first down, buddy. Ah. Six yard pass, second and four. Hand off to Edwards who runs to the right for four yards. 
All right, third and two. H hands off to Edwards, who cuts to the left, hurdles a down defender for the first down. First and 10. Throw an RPO here. Come on, come on, come on. There it is. Touchdown, Michigan. Johnny H throws to Moore for the touchdown. There it is, and Michigan is off to the start that they were hoping for. Let's see what the defense can do here. And they hold them. Excellent. First and 10, Michigan. They're leading 7 0. Let's go. Hands off to Edwards for three yards. All right, we're going to hand off to him again. Hopefully, he can get a big chunk play here. Oh, and there it is a big chunk play. Yeah. Let's go. First down. Oh, Morgan on the slant, and it's intercepted! Oh, Johnny H throws his first interception of the game. Man, he knows he messed up too. He's shaking his head. Oh, and he got off to such a good start, and then he throws a pick after throwing an interception. Yikes. Uh, I don't blame him for going to a running game. Mm. All right, Edwards. Oh, my goodness. All right, third and five. Oh, how did he not catch that? He was right there. He literally pulled his hands away from the ball. Come on, Loveland. You got to make that effort. I know we're only playing Michigan State, but come on. That should have been a first down. Ooh, nice hurdle. Nice hurdle by Donovan Edwards. All right, let's go. Oh, nobody's open. Oh my goodness. There you go, more wide open. There it is, touchdown that makes up for the interception. <sighs> Moore has been money this game, let's go. Still 14 nothing. the defense held. Oh, Edwards, oh, he, what a nice chunk. 10 rushes for 83 yards. Donovan Edwards averaging 8.3 yards per carry. Yo, let's go. Well, that's gonna hurt the yards per carry. <laughs> Just a little bit. Come on, Klein. There you go. You got him beat. You got him beat. Yeah. I half thought they were gonna challenge that. Oh, that was a risky throw. Didn't quite go how I thought it was gonna go. Ooh. Okay, Edwards up the middle. Third and six, third and six. We need this first down here. Let's go. Moore has been hot, it might go to him. Get it, first down. Oh! Oh, fourth and inches, he just missed it. I was just trying to get the first. I wasn't going for the home run hit. Come on, Donovan, cross that red line. No. Wow, and that lady is pissed. She's pissed. She's pointing at us. She's pissed. 
pissed. She's got her angry eyes on. There we go. There we go. Good job, Morgan. Good job, Morgan. Oh, Edwards got it right in there for the touchdown. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Defense holds strong again. 21 nothing. Yeah, he caught it, he caught it, he caught it! Right to Loveland, who doesn't catch it? He volleys it like a volleyball. He's got a bad habit of doing that. He really does. Oh, right there, right there, right there, yeah! Right there, touchdown! Morris! I am passing all over them! Oh, Morgan, not Morris, my bad. Marja Moore, Morgan. Oh, the defense finally gives up a touchdown, 28 to seven, yeesh. See if we can hit Loveland across the middle, who's wide open. Ah. Nope. That's okay, that's okay. Oh, in between two defenders. There we go, there we go. Loveland wide open. Here we go, here we go. Come on, O'Leary, there you go, touchdown. No, yeah, I wasn't sure that crossed the plane. Whew, four touchdowns already and it's not even halftime. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, Loveland. Oh, he caught it! He caught it! There's touchdown number five. Oh, I thought I had touchdown number five. Are you kidding me? There, oh, I overthrew him, but that's all right. I let him far enough away that the defender didn't have a chance. I'm okay with that. Ah. Well, we tried. We tried. Come on, coach. Give me one more shot at it. Nope, halftime, 38 to seven. Wow, this is pretty much over. We got this. We got the Paul Bunyan trophy. Here we go. Oh, I'm hot, man. Let me keep throwing the ball. Edmund is already in the Heisman contention, man. Let me try. Oh, okay. Now you all need me to bail you out. Oh, come on, how do you not make that throw? He's like five yards in front of you. Come on, freshman. Donny H, what are you doing, man? You screwed up. Whoo, that was a bad decision to throw that. I'll tell you that much. We're gonna go deep and see if we can hit him. Oh, 
it's knocked away. Tried. Slipped through his fingers. There you go, Loveland. Let's go. Morgan, create that separation and go. Here we go. Come on, Edwards, get in there. No. All right, on the two. Here we go. Get in there, Edwards. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Ooh, defense still holding strong. 45 to seven. This is gonna be a statement win against one of our biggest rivals. All right. Turn the corner and beat him. Ah. Oh. Hey, you got the first down. That's all that matters. Come on, Klein. Create that separation. Oh, he dropped it. Ah, oh, Klein dropped it. That's okay. Wide open, take it, take it, take, oh! It's all right. It's all right. Woo! Dang, Morgan didn't turn in time. He didn't turn and make his move. Need him to be a little bit faster than that. Good job, defense, still holding him to seven. Good job. Oh, Edwards is, Edwards, that's what I want to see right there, right there. Forty-five to seven at the end of the third. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they are partying in Michigan. Oh, they took me out. 52 to 14. Michigan stomps Michigan State. Yeah, yeah. And the battle for the Paul Bunyan Trophy. The winner is Michigan. I am the player of the game. 384 passing yards and four passing touchdowns. Oh yeah. Another win for Michigan. Coming back after that overtime loss two weeks ago. Well, technically that was Illinois' last week, but this is my bounce back game. It's the first one I've played since. These stats are Myself, 17 out of 31, 384 yards, four touchdowns, one interception, and a quarterback rating of 195. Rushing, Donovan Edwards led the charge with 20 attempts for 114 yards and two touchdowns. And as far as receiving goes, Simaja Morgan, five receptions for 156 yards and a touchdown and Colston Loveland four catches for 100 yards no touchdown Frederick Moore was clutch for me and his two catches were for 46 yards both of them for touchdowns so he was Mr. Clutch for me all right let's go back to the hub okay so 
Now we're going to advance and get our second game of the episode in. Oh, and I have a call from, I mean a text from Kenneth Grant, my defensive tackle. Do you want to drive together to our morning government class this week? Gotta love these 8.30 a.m. lectures. I'm gonna agree to drive together with him because I'm trying to get that 4.0 GPA. Yeah, remind me never to take a morning class again. Oh, and now I have a T4 tire and NIL offer. This is for a proposal for a four week contract for cost of three energy up front. You'll receive a huge boost of leadership meter plus 5,000 followers per week of the contract. You know what? I'm going to take the deal. I know it's going to cost me three energy, but it's going to give me a boost in leadership and I'm going to get plus 20,000 followers. So let's go ahead. Let's do it. The team appreciates anything free. I'm also getting them free tires, so they'll love this. Sign my NIL deal. All right. And this week I have a huge Big Ten matchup. Number four, Oregon. Number six, Michigan. I have yet to beat a ranked opponent. This is gonna be my first chance. They're four and one in the Big Ten. I'm four and one in the Big Ten. This has huge Big Ten as well as national ranking consequences. This is huge. So we're gonna just skip practice. Top stories, we'll do that. We will do the top 25 soon. And the Cougars pulled an upset over UCF 35 to 21. BYU's quarterback, Gary Bohannon, was the offensive player of the game with 316 yards and three touchdowns, no interception. And number three, Texas beats Vanderbilt 24 to 19 in an SEC matchup, and Illinois Test Conference foe Oregon, but the Ducks won 36 to 33. Oregon's wide receiver, Tayshawn Holden, is the offensive player of the game. He had six catches for 74 yards and one touchdown. Let's go ahead and do the weekly agenda. I only have two energy that I can do. So, the GP, I'm, I'm I'm good for that. I'm full. Good for that. I could put some into training, but I don't want to drop that gauge for now. So I'm going to put it, my two remaining points, into leadership. And because of this brand, my NIL deal, my local hero brand has shot up. And we're going to look at the college football playoffs, top 25 as of right now. Number one, Ohio State. Number two, Notre Dame. Number three, Texas. Number four, Oregon, who we play this week. This is going to be huge for the college football standings, for the playoff standings. Number three, Georgia. Number six, Michigan. That's us. Number seven, Clemson. Number eight, Utah. Number nine, Washington, who beat us earlier. Number 10, Kansas State. Number 11 is Penn State. Number 12, Texas Tech. Number 13, Tennessee. Number 14 is NC State. 15, Oklahoma State. 16, USC. 17, Iowa State. 18, Arkansas, 19, UCF, 20 is Alabama, 21 is LSU, 22 is Rutgers, Miami comes in at number 23, 24 is Texas A&M, and rounding out the college football playoffs, top 25 is the Pittsburgh Panthers at number 25. All right. 
Now we have the first look at the college football playoff bracket. And as of right now, they have Michigan, the eighth seed against Utah. The ninth seed, the winner of that would go to the Rose Bowl to play Ohio State, the number one ranked team. Now that certainly could change with a win over Oregon this week. Below us, number five, Notre Dame is playing number 12, East Carolina. Wow. On the right side of the bracket, the seventh seed, Georgia Bulldogs play the 10th seeded Washington Huskies and below that the 6th seeded Oregon Ducks play the 11th seeded Penn State Nittany Lions. The winner of Georgia and Washington will play the 2nd seeded Texas Longhorns in the Fiesta Bowl and the winner of Oregon Penn State will play the Clemson Tigers in the All-State Sugar Bowl. And below us on the left side, the winner of Notre Dame and East Carolina will play number 10, I'm sorry, number 4, Kansas State in the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. So right now we have a chance to go to the Rose Bowl if all things go well and maybe better. So, yeah, let's go. All right, I'm ready. We looked at everything we need to look at. It is week 10 of 2024, and we are the number six ranked team at six and two. We have a huge, huge, huge matchup against the number four Oregon Ducks. Let's go ahead and play that right now. All right, and we are in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Ooh, huge matchup, at least we're at home. I don't have to deal with the stadium tough to play meter messing up my play art. Go blue. Everybody here knows how big of a matchup this is. Let's go. Here come the Oregon Ducks. Bring it on. We are fired up. We are ready to go. And it looks like we're starting off with the ball. Oh, and Donovan Edwards is stuffed. They knew it was coming. They knew it was coming. All right. Loveland. There you go. Get that first down, buddy. Oh, third and one. So close. So close. All right. Donovan Edwards, man, this is your specialty. You need one yard. Let's go. Oh, he breaks the tackle, spins through it. Yes, there it is. First down. Let's go. Ooh. All right, all right, not bad. Four yard run. All right. Woo, hit as I'm thrown, no blocking at all. Yeah. That's what happens when your line doesn't block for you. There it is, across the middle to Morgan. First down. Johnny Yates is going to have to be very accurate today. He can't afford turnovers. That's been a problem with him in big games. All right. Here we go, first down. Let's keep the chains moving. Keep the chains moving. All right, Mullings is in. Oh, 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 he, he tried to cut to the right, but it didn't work. Whew, Oregon's defense is playing tough. Uh oh, oh, Mullings just kind of pushed him to the side a little bit there. All right. Uh-oh. 
Yeah, I realized it right when I threw it. Ah, uh, good stop, Oregon. We we didn't even get three out of that. Some was first and goal. We must have went for it and got it. Yeah, okay. I would feel more comfortable running here. I'm not good in these real short passing situations. There it is, Mullings touchdown. All right, and Michigan strikes first. Good job, Mullings. You got this. And then the fans are going nuts. Oregon answers back with a field goal. Way to hold strong defense. This is a huge game. Oh. Mullings got nothing. Ah, hit is I'm throwing. Come on, D. Let's go. Stay strong. Ah, I led him too far, but there's a flag. Pass interference. Ah, holding. holding. Come on. Come on, Andrew Gentry. I was kind of hoping they would accept it to get another shot. Come on, defense. I held him to another field goal. Okay, we're still up by one, seven to six. All right. Come on, Donovan. They got two on lockdown, buddy. We need to win this game. Yes, go Edwards! First down, that's right, let's go! Let's go! Oh, Donovan Edwards again! All right, let's go. Oh, there we go. First down, first down, and then a little more. Okay. That's all that matters. Ooh, he caught it. He fought for it and caught it. All right, all right. He need five yards. There you go, Donovan Edwards, five yards and more. That's what I'm talking about. That is a big game, big, big game. Morris, get to it, yeah. All right, come on, Donovan. Juke your way into the hurdle. And the touchdown, he duped, he hurdled, he did it all to get that score. Donovan Edwards. That's what we needed, right there. Eight point lead, oh and they score a touchdown to match it. 14 to 13, yikes. Come on Klein. Ah, oh, I thought he had it. Thought he had it. Slant right to Morgan, and Morgan's gone! Samarja Morgan! There he is, gone! On the slant. Johnny A says, all right, you wanna match us? Match this. Let's go. Match this. And they do match it! 21 to 20. Yikes, we have a game. Oh, Morgan's wide open deep. He is gone. Johnny Yates hits Morgan again for another deep throw. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Yeet, yeet, yeet. Woo hoo, 221 yards already. And they don't match it. It's 
28 to 20 now. All right, again to Morgan. Morgan has been money. This could be the put away drive right here. All right, what do we got? Come on, Loveland. Yes, go Loveland. This could be the put away drive. Even if we get three and go up by 11, this could be the put away drive. Oh, I don't like what I'm seeing here. Oh, he dropped it. Right to him and he dropped it. What are you doing to me? All right. Morgan, touchdown, there it is! Samaja Morgan has been money, that is his third touchdown. My goodness! 35 to 27, up by eight points. Whew, I was hoping that would be the pull it away drive, but it wasn't. They're still nipping at our heels. All right, Mullings, you get one more shot. Break it. Let's get a touchdown here. <laughs> Whew, wow, my goodness. 35 to 27 at halftime. It's a game already. 264 passing yards. Three touchdowns, Oregon, 217 passing yards, three touchdowns. The quarterbacks are almost identical. Wow, this game has been crazy. This is a heavyweight fight, a knockdown, drag out battle. Two heavyweight teams going at it right now. It looks like our defense held. They didn't score, so that's what I want to see. Come on, Mullings. Mullings, make it happen. All right. Edwards, right. Oh, you don't want to give him any kind of lane. He will take off. Works. Lock for him. There he goes. First down. Let's go. Let's keep pushing forward. Go blue. Oh, Edwards got nothing. Oh, we. Nothing again. I'm not liking what I see here. All right. Come on, Loveland. Wide open. Catch that. Yeah. Let's go. 304 yards and three touchdowns. Killing it. Oh, Edwards. First down. That's what we want to see. Keep those legs turning. We go up three, we go up 11, and it's two scores either way. Mullings, come on, buddy. Nope. All right. Oh, he's all by himself on that RPO. Yeah. Tony H reading that defense perfectly on that RPO. Oh, oh Mullings, he got it, he got it, he got Oh, yeah, they whipped him into the end zone. Mullings with the touchdown, and they needed that. Yeah, let's go, Michigan. 
dance, buddy. You earned it. All right. Khalil Mullings. Right there. Wouldn't have got in if they didn't whip him backwards for that tackle. And Oregon responds again with the touchdown. Still down by eight, 42 to 34. They just will not go away. They will not go away. We need to match touchdown for touchdown. It's gonna come down to the first team that makes a mistake. Up Derek Harmon, injury time out for Oregon. All right, Mullings, we need this first down. We got to keep this going. There it is. He got it and more. All right. All right. All right. Klein, come on. Turn that corner. I'll take a six-yard pass there. Come on, Mullings, first down. Oh, Mateo Uigela, another Oregon player hurt. They're starting to drop. There we go, turn the corner there, perfect first down. All right. Uh-oh, that's picked. Woo. No, it wasn't. Wow, that was lucky. A very dangerous pass by Johnny H. Oh, uh-oh, oh, Mullings just missed the first down. First down, easy first down. We're gonna let the quarter expire here. Oh, yeah, there it is. End of the third quarter. Here we go. Michigan up 42 to 34. We're looking to shake up those rankings and go in the top five. That's what we're looking to do. Yeah, who is gonna make the crucial play? Oh, I hit the wrong button. I meant to throw to Y and I tapped RB. Oops. Sorry, Klein, I might've took your touchdown away. Doesn't matter, Edwards up. Come on, Edwards. Ed oh, Edwards, if you would have ran up the middle, you had it. Oh, I don't know if I like this. Oh my goodness, I don't think I like this at all. We should have kicked the field goal. Oh, yeah, I'd be pissed off at that call too. Oh, we got the ball back. Whew. We avoided a possible catastrophe. Mm. Edwards was met with a hard hit. Oh, no blocking at all. Yikes. Oh, I overthrew him. Are you serious? Come on, Johnny H. Wide open. That's a first down. You got to make that throw. Oh, we kicked the field goal, but they scored. And now it's 44 to 41. We're only up by three. Oh, oh Donovan Edwards, let's go. 
We need a touchdown here. Because if we score a field goal, it's not going to be good enough. We need a touchdown on this drive. Oh, and Donovan Edwards knows this. Oh, with the spin move! Yeah, let's go! We need more of that, Edwards. All right. Right there, right there, Morgan out of his reach. Johnny H misses another throw he should have made. Oh, this freshman's having some real accuracy issues this game. Ah, oh, he is really having some accuracy issues. He is might, he's choking again in a big game. Ooh, we kicked the field goal. 47 to 41. If we kick another field goal, okay, now we're looking good. Oh, oh, Donovan Edwards is gone. The touchdown they needed to possibly seal the deal. Woo, Donovan Edwards comes up clutch when his quarterback seems to be cooling off. Possibly the game winning touchdown right there. Donovan Edwards showing why he's number one in the Heisman race and well-deserved. Oh, we are going for two. There it is. 55 to 41, up 14 points. Johnny H making the two-point throw he needed to make. And Oregon responds with a touchdown of their own. Down by seven. Up Michigan up 55 to 48. Whew. Justin Jacobs, another injured duck. Here we go, second and six. Oregon calls a timeout as the duck gets down. Oh, 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 Edwards fourth and inches. Wow, Donovan Edwards just misses the first down. Come on, defense, hold strong, hold strong. Defense, hold strong with 49 seconds left. Oregon with no timeouts. Johnny H kneels, and that is the game. Michigan upsets Oregon. Johnny H finally proves he can win a big game against a ranked opponent. The third time was the try. Player of the game, Samaja Morgan. Six catches, 210 yards, and three touchdowns. He was clutch. What a game. What an amazing game. <sighs> wow. There you see it, 61 to 45. Michigan with the upset win. And the stats, Johnny H, 16 out of 27 for 360 yards and three touchdowns. A quarterback rating of 207.9. Rushing, Donovan Edwards, 26. Attempts 185 yards and two touchdowns and right under them Khalil Mullings 15 carries for 78 yards and two touchdowns also Receiving was the Samaja Morgan show with six catches 210 yards and three touchdowns and right under him Tyler Morris was clutch on first down plays 
Six catches for 87 yards. Man, what a game. Well, everybody, I hope you liked this episode as much as I enjoyed playing it. It was so much fun playing Oregon. Johnny H finally proves he can beat a ranked opponent in a big game. And he won the biggest game of the season so far against the number four ranked Oregon Ducks. Join us next week as Michigan continues to march towards their conference championship and hopefully they break the top five of the college football playoff rankings. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single drop, whether it's Road to Glory, Johnny H, or our, my Rebuild Dynasties with my best friend, Metal Mike. I am playing Vanderbilt, and he is playing Toledo. So make sure you check that out as well. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you on next episode. Later, guys.